Welcome back. We are in the Rice's Appliance Kitchen with Allison from Peak Performance Catering. And Chef Allison, tell us what we're making. All right. Well, first, Brendan's going to start with some gluten-free turkey meatballs. Because this is a healthy take on spaghetti meatballs. Right. Oh. Spaghetti meatballs, we all love it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's too filling and too fatty, so we're doing the low-fat version. I love but it. still packed with lots of good um, flavors and nutrients. So Perfect. turkey burger, we have turkey uh, meatballs. So right there you have your turkey, uh, ground turkey. We've got sauce, gluten-free breadcrumbs that are mm. already Italian, and eggs, and so you're gonna put and all that in these all go there. in, right? All go all in, right. you're just gonna start mixing all that up. And I no measured problem. it all out for you. It's about a cup of the breadcrumbs, the sauce, two mm. eggs, and you've got some seasoning in there. So you're gonna mix that up. And while you do that, we're gonna make a fresh Pomodoro sauce. So you can't have uh, sauce without garlic, right? So <laughs> yeah. we get a little olive oil, and we just wanna get this going. Sometimes people don't realize is they keep this on high, and then they might burn the garlic. So we get the um, going, we get this on high, and then I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then Summer's gonna help me put in the veggies. So this uh -huh. is our, to get more veggies into mm -hmm. your uh, sauce. It's a fresh sauce, you're just gonna throw oh. all of this oh, in there. Oh, a lot of veggies, mm -hmm. yes. white ones. We have zucchini, delicious. summer squash, mushrooms. So this is again where we're gonna get a lot of the flavor. And we just wanna get these veggies sweating. Now for the athletes, we try not to do too much onion or garlic because uh, for their digestion. This is what I call our pre-race uh, Pomodoro oh. sauce and spaghetti. Um, you can also do uh, whole wheat pasta as well, but I wanted to show you guys the spaghetti squash. We do this in our family. We went gluten-free uh, many, many years ago. My son was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, so we tried to find uh, other alternative ways to get uh, a really yummy dinner mm -hmm. without all the gluten. So that's where we get the gluten free. How am I doing over here? You're doing <laughs> if, awesome. If, if, if you're supposed to make a mess, I think I'm nailing it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Messy is good, as all long right, as good. it tastes good. So then um, we're adding our fresh tomatoes. It's just a fresh crushed tomato. We're getting nice. Uh, it smells delicious. It does. does. So this is just gonna simmer for a little bit. And then, um, Summer, if you want to just add some of the Parmesan oh, cheese. Absolutely. So it's veggies. Like I said, this is a fresh sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, normally if you're making a regular marinara, it's going to cook longer. You're going to start with more ground um, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But we're just using a fresh crushed tomato. I that think I these did. are ready to go, don't you think? All right, well, Pretty those good. will. So All this right. is our before, right? So yes. Um, those look beautiful. Ready and then to I cook? I would like spray those with a little Pam. And then we'll add um, some fresh basil. Oh, you do oh, that. I'm, I'm full of yeah. okay. so Basil put, in here? Put All the right. basil in there. Okay, over here we have the spaghetti squash. I wanted to show you our before. So this is a um, the raw spaghetti squash. I cut it in half. And, and be then careful, Ernst. Yes, because it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, a uh, cleaver works really well. Okay. And then you're going <laughs> to scrape out the seeds. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it, and I made a little spice seasoning in here because okay. again we're the Italian theme, mm -hmm. and you know uh, these types of things take on the flavors that we give it. So olive oil, um, salt, Italian seasoning. Then I wanted to show you here. Yeah, I've never. So done this, this is before. afterwards. So this is how it becomes the spaghetti. So after you bake it, it's when and it just pulls off. Right. right. So you're gonna it's put so it in. Easy. You're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for about a half an hour. And um, then when it comes, you know when it's done, when it just comes easily mm -hmm. off. Oh, it's so easy, yeah. too. And it really is good. I, I don't know. I don't really miss the pasta too yeah, much. Sometimes I mean, I love it's pasta, just a vessel for the sauce. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, yes. There are times where I, I miss, uh, you know, I, I want the flavor of pasta, the taste, but, I, but otherwise it's more about moving the sauce for me. Yes. Yeah, so, so your athletes even notice the difference? Um, well, they do in the long run because it, you know, um, carbs, you need carbs to fe fuel you for mm -hmm. energy, right? But these are going to um, break down a lot quicker in your system. Ah. So you're still going to feel full, but you're not going to feel weighed down. Well, yes. let's start right? plating as we're coming so, up okay. in our last So let's get seconds. some. Um, this looks incredible. And again, right. of course, Chef Allison is well, feeding the athletes that come to the Sun Coast with peak performance catering. And uh, even if we're not athletes, we can still try to eat yeah, like them. Course. And it's nice to see we don't have we'll to sacrifice taste or flavor. Here, Great. We'll just pass well, let's pass this, this down. Okay. Since, uh, to summer our guests. All right, so these are the, meatball, the right. turkey meatballs. Here you go, Linda. We'll, we'll, right. we'll get a clean hand yeah. over here. Okay. Great, fantastic. You can find more, of course, by visiting peak performance catering.
Good Brendan going, and sir. Summer, thank you for thank joining you. us. Don't miss everything great happening at Urbanite Theater in downtown Sarasota. And don't miss the Suncoast view. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. There you go. One